all this slang comes from black culture, by the way. It just got adopted by Gen Z. So all of this has been slang for decades in black culture. And now Gen Z is catching on to all of it. So it's actually kind of funny. Like when you look at the origins, of a lot of these words, they're not really that new. People, just the young generation is now just all starting to use them. Hi, everyone. Welcome to uh, another solo episode of Habits and Hustle. Today it's going to be a, I think it's going to be a super fun episode because um, I'm with my foil and she's 30. So she's not exactly, <laughs> I thought you know, about to say she thirsty. <laughs> she is thirsty. <laughs> she thir- she's a thirsty 30-year-old, thir- 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 <laughs> um, but which is, which is actually a great segue into what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about all the different slangs out there that people use that I'm kind of just kind of getting used to some of them and as I'm getting used to them there's other ones minor the ones I even know are considered to be old already I mean like the thirsty that's old already right yeah it is a bit old now so we covered thirst trap already in another episode um and if uh you want to know what thirst trap is listen to the episode before this listen to the episode before (laughs) this um, and now we're going to move on because I thought it was super fun and, and very informative for my old ass. So let's get to it. So I, we've got a few. I want to go through them. Okay. Okay. The one that I, I really like is drip. Yes. Okay. Drip. So drip's like a big one. I hear Drippy. people, I hear all the kids talking about it. And what drip is when you like, like your outfit and your outfits on what? You're fashionable. You're yeah. Your outfit looks good. Your outfit is drippy. Like if you have a lot of style, if you're wearing a lot of cool pieces, you know what I mean. Like you're you're dripping. Oh, yeah, like it just sounds like because if it's like a Gen Z type of, you know, well, okay, slang so word. It it is. All this slang comes from Black culture, by the way. It just got adopted by Gen Z. So all of this has been slang for decades in Black culture, and now Gen Z is catching on to all of it. So it's actually kind of funny. Like when you look at the origins, of a lot of these words they're not really that new. People. Just the young generation is now just all starting to use you know, them. It's so true you say that because I one of my really good friends, Dalvet, um, would always say to me, you know, you're so extra. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He'd always be like, you're so extra. <laughs> and he would say this to me, I kid you not, like 10 years ago, yeah. like nine, 10 years ago. And I'd be like, what does extra mean? <laughs> and he'd be like, you're so extra. And now I'm hearing people who are talking about the word extra, right? Well, extra all the time. is pretty old, but yeah, yeah. Well, it is pretty old. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, now, like, my mom's yeah. talking about it. Yeah. Or it's like a very big, my mom's not, by the way. But what I mean is, it's become a very mainstream word. Absolutely. All of this stuff trickles down. I think also now because of social media and the access to everything. Yes. Like all these kids that are on social, now all of this stuff that that was a little harder and less accessible in terms of like being culturally sp- specific to one group, for example, yeah. is now super... I mean, it's just super widely known, like even British slang, British slang is now used everywhere, which is so crazy because like you would just not see that back in the day. Like people now using the word lad or like lads tour when they go on like a a boys trip. Like that's just not common. But now because of social, all of this stuff is just so everywhere. Love Island, like it's so widely popular around the world that now everybody's adopting this stuff. So it's pretty kind of it's I mean, it's kind of cool. All these cultures are bringing all their slangs together. I, I, I hear that. Okay, so let's go through other ones because that like if I were just to pull up a lot of these words actually I've heard of do you know it's giving because that's a really good one it's giving yeah it's okay, giving. What's give, what does that so, mean it's giving so like it's so for example you know let's say you're uh you're like watching a clip of something and it's really reminiscent of like Michael Scott from the office so you'd be like it's giving Michael Scott you know what I mean like it's giving Michael Scott. Oh, I've heard that, but I've never heard it. I guess it's when I didn't know that was slang. It's yeah, not really slang. slang. Oh yeah. I want like okay. That's very. That's literally prime slang right now. I want you to spill the tea, like, which it's... is another, which is another <laughs> uh, slang. <laughs> spill the tea, which I feel is very common. Um, on like really like ones that are like it's giving. I got you, but like give me a couple more that are not so known. You know it's giving. There's no... Okay, use it in a sentence, please. Okay, you just did. Like, for example, if I were to see uh, Michael Scott on no, The she- Office. <laughs> or, I don't know, like, if I were to... I don't... Okay, so maybe that's a bad... Okay, or, okay, fine. Let's say... Let's say... How would I use it in a sentence? Um, like, for example, if okay, someone like comes down... Okay, like, if I was down- watching LeBron James, right. and I would say, oh, it's giving Michael Jordan. Would that be... 
I mean, kind of. Okay, well, no, not kind of. Isn't that what it is? Not like, not really. In what context? How is, what is LeBron doing that's it's giving Michael Jordan? Playing like, really good, he's playing basketball really well. But that's, but LeBron giving, is the GOAT. No, it's, okay, you could be so, like. Okay, so if I say, oh, Dylan, who's my 10-year-old, right. is giving Michael Jordan right now. Would well, that make sense? It doesn't always have to be like a, like you could, you could say like, like for example, if, okay, let's say Sydney walks down in like a really cute, like puffy dress or something. Okay. You'd, be like, you'd be like, it's giving prom. Okay. You know what right. I'm saying? Uh, yeah, this is this is actually like basically stamping the deal. Like it is basically just basically proving the point that I'm too old for this shit. Um, okay, so oh it's giving. Okay, so we have or like it's giving. it's giving queen. It's giving. It's giving main girl. Main girl I, energy. You know what I mean? Like you know what I mean? You can, it's just basically like it's giving whatever it's giving. It could be good or bad. Okay, so so far we have it's giving. Yeah. Uh, drip. We did uh, thirst trap on another episode. Yes. Um, we did extra, which is not really that much of a slang although it's becoming it's more mainstream now it used to be much more i i was told i was extra 10 years ago by doll vet so um i have a um, really good one for you okay it's riz do you know riz no riz is basically charisma so it's just like wow so much riz like so like wow so i've much, never heard that like one. you have a lot of riz like you like you've got a lot of charisma that's not a popular one is it it's very popular right now it it's is super super popular yeah everybody's using the word riz right now People love the word Riz. Have you guys heard the word Riz at home <laughs> or in your car? Anyone has, listening? Has Riz come to a TikTok near you? You know, you know exactly. <laughs> you know what I'd like to know from people who are listening to this podcast? Can you guys share maybe in the comments below some slaying words that maybe you've heard that you can share with the rest of us? I'm like curious now. I mean, because like I've never heard the one Riz yeah, but that, you asked me for one that was less... I know. I'm saying, yeah. like, that's what I'm saying. Like, maybe they've heard some words that yeah. I haven't heard. Riz is a great one. Also, um, touch grass is a really good one for online people. So, for example, if you're constantly on your computer all day, people are like, go touch grass. Go, like, get in touch with reality. Go outside. Go touch grass. It's a good really? One. Yeah, yeah. It's like, get a grip, if you will. Can you chat GPT the top 10 slang words yes i'm actually so intrigued by what it would have to say yeah. for itself i'm curious what it would say <sighs> the top 10 would be of like the last even like the last couple like yeah since i guess 2023 yeah top 10 top 10 slang words 2023 yeah let's ask it yeah what are chat. the top 10 slang words for 2023 let's see what it has to say for itself technically it's only a learning model that learned up to 2021 if i'm not mistaken but i think it can still predict like i keeping up with popular what i've heard okay while you're looking vibe check is a big one glow up is another one karen's super old glow like she's so karen new. glow up is so old i'm no i'm ta i'm looking at right now tiktok slang words and phrases you need to know okay number one is um live rent free in my mind also old okay well i'm telling karen's another one lit that's super old <laughs> extra i told you about that one already glow up vibe check vibe check to me is very similar to drip no yeah vibe check like i'm you're checking the vibe no no because okay. drip is more your style oh, your style okay Oh, so vibe check is more like what the vibe is of the of like where you are, right? Like in like the environment. Slays I never, I never use vibe check, but I'm not. I mean, by the okay, not to. Not, yeah, it's more like like your mood. Okay, so I'm actually pretty impressed with myself because I know all of these. Yeah, because they're all key, old. I Those are all sorry. the oldest slang That's words I've I heard. Just... <laughs> That's why you don't know Riz because Riz is right now. <laughs> okay, so on my list. <laughs> It's, at, it's saying the big words are low key, which we got slay. We've what, all heard your slay. list was written in 2019. No, it's maybe says, 2015, maybe tw 2008. What is that from? <gasps> okay, this list is from Google's top slang list. Yeah, 2001. January 30th, 2023. Written and on by. On this list is um, Karen Lit <laughs> Extra Flex gro Glow no. Up Vibe Check Slay Low Key. And I know most of them. Yeah, but, you, but there's a reason why you know most okay, of them. Okay, well, I'm just, I'm just saying. Do you, know, do you know what simp is? What? Do you know what simp is? No, what's simp? Simp. So simp is like um, if you're simping for someone, like you're, uh, like you're, you're placating to them, like you're simping for someone. Like, for example, like a guy that does every single thing that uh, their, their, their girlfriend wants <laughs> would be a simp. I never heard that in my life. Yeah, that's a really common one. Like, stop simping, bro. Simp. 
Okay. Simp. Actually, I wonder what the actual definition. Well, wait, what did Chat GPT come back with? Chat GPT didn't give us any slang words. It gave us advice on how to stay relevant. That's it? Yeah. So, so far, kids, see, Chat <laughs> GPT a- is not all that it's cracked up to be because it doesn't even give the it doesn't even have the ability to do this okay no it literally said follow social media trends keep up with popular culture pay attention to your local area use slang dictionaries talk to young okay. people it's like giving us how to stay relevant with the slang another big one that i see here all the time is uh ceo that's like every list i'm looking at is saying ceo is a big slang word now interesting why i know i don't know 30 year old C- i should by the way what i should be having on this podcast to talk about this is a 21 year old so what? if you're a 21 year old you don't even person, know any of the ones i'm saying right now you think you'd be able to keep uh, up with them well let's, let's <laughs> listen i want to see how bad i really am i bet i bet you they can stump you they might be able to but i'm pretty i'm pretty in the know okay you gave me riz i'm on for socials charisma. yeah yeah riz simp what else did I give you? I gave you quite a few. And no, and uh, you said the Michael, my, my, the one that you said. That, oh, it's giving. It's giving. Okay. It's giving. Touch grass. These are all very okay, good. Those are good. These are very good ones. All right. Actually. I think that's a good, uh, that's, that's good. We can like do another episode of another top 10. I think what people should do is submit their favorite slang words and then we can go through and that's run them I down. That's what I said. I said the best yeah, thing yeah. to do is, please guys, now this is, this is more also just for curiosity. Yeah. <laughs> give us your, give me your favorite, your best slang words that um that maybe you know that i don't know share subscribe join facebook <laughs> like follow <laughs> like follow join the facebook group so we need your reviews we need your comments because it just helps us know um how, what you like what you don't like you know it's, yeah. a, it's a back and forth it's a give and take mm, so I love that. um thank you and i'm going to look forward to looking at some of these other slangs and maybe we can go over them yeah in another episode have a riz full day yeah <laughs> have a charismatic day have a- that no you no one uses riz as rizful you would never say that never. but I'm, I'm gonna start that okay now. you can start it